recording. Yeah. Okay, so I am not going to give an introduction. My introduction is a show and tell, and then I'll talk. So, okay, uh, this is uh, I'll do this in the um, in the format of a magic trick. All right, so here you have a PDF. It's empty. It has some fillable fields. There's um nothing up my sleeve. No, no um hidden processes running. Okay, so let's. So you say. So I say. There's no sleight of hand. Okay, this is like a configuration screen for something called PhilPedia. You can guess what it's going to do. And then here's a link that will that will trigger it. So it's gonna it's gonna tell me to download a PDF. So I say okay. It's based on this node you see here. Let's wait a second. For some reason it's ah! I hope that doesn't affect the recording. <laughs> <It'll do> <laughs> well, anyway, that's part of the magic trick, you know. Just have to w just wait a little second, and when it comes back, you should see a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> Is it coming? Is it coming there? Okay, there we go. Ah, look. <laughs> it just it fit right in with it. So, but you can see it filled it with some stuff from that node. So that's what this does, and it flattens it as well. So if you don't want people changing it after, that's 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 by default what it does. So this is fill PDF. This is a module I maintain. I didn't write it originally, but I've written a lot into it now, and I took it over from someone else. Um, so it essentially takes tokens from your nodes, and by 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 that on that token, CCK tokens as well, and Webform tokens in Drupal six at least, not Drupal seven yet, soon. Um, and puts them into a PDF. And your PDF can look a lot nicer than that little dinky one there. It, it'll reasonably respect like font styles and stuff that you set in the PDF. And um, for those of you who've seen this before, there's a couple new features that you probably haven't seen. So one of them is that now you can, instead of downloading the PDF, you, you can put it into a directory when they go to the link. And, and there's a little like query string trick you can use to still download it, but it'll it'll still save it into the directory. So I'm going to put it in this one called la Drupal. This is just the screen where I'm setting up the PDF. So let's just save that. Did it do it? Okay. So now I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to do a little destination. To it. it works. Just so I come back here. And so instead of downloading actually just going to go to where I said. And then if we go look at where that is, you see it, it generated a little PDF. And it'll be it'll be pretty much the same thing. But it saved mm -hmm. it in a directory and said, and the path where you save it, you can use tokens for that too. So if you want to, if, if you want it to like, you know, react based on the user, you can do that, which is pretty cool. So there I put the UID. We'll do it again. Now this is a lame talk. He's just going straight to the URL. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And then if we refresh, you see now it has a subdirectory. And it, it read the token and created the directory like magic. It probably told me that it was created too, yeah. so. Get disable messages if you don't want your user seeing that. <laughs> um, disable messages? Disable messages. It's another module. I'm not going to talk about it, though, because that'll go off on another tangent. So, and then the other main feature that was added was this, like, this transform values thing. And this is basically because a lot of people on their radio buttons and their checkboxes, you know, they don't want to, like, name their CCK keys after those. But, like, the PDF, I don't know. The PDF value for some checkbox might be like cheese, but you want to save yes in the database. But you still need to fill it in on the PDF. So this is a way to do that. I'm not going to show that. I'm just going to change. <laughs> what did I? I'm just going to change the text into something else. So this is basically how it works. You know, you can you can specify as many of these as you want, and you can do it on the PDF level as well. I just did it on the field level. If you do it on the field level, obviously it is more important than the PDF level. So you can like you can layer it like that. 
Okay, so if I if I type that right, I think I did, then this time when we download that PDF, which should actually still be in this one, should be this one, we should see that instead of saying presto change it says something else. So these 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 features these features were actually sponsored by someone. Can Somebody um, yeah, um, well this guy Tom Davidson, his username is Tom Davidson, I'm going to be giving him a shout out soon. But yeah, he, he needed it and so he actually paid me to work on this. Thank you Tom Davidson. Yeah. And thank you Kevin. Let's go, let's go PDF. Drupal.org slash project slash go PDF. How do you spell PDF? Tom <laughs> PDF. You Would you like to have a parking voucher? Yes. yes. There okay. you go. So all organizers and sponsors and uh, uh, some presenters, presenters, all presenters tonight uh, get free parking. The way parking works 